tonight we'll see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm here with another tour video and this time is for my desk that is in my room and i'm starting off in this little corner here and the first thing i have is this very old and rusty hole puncher i have it in this paper because again it's rusty and it's not looking very good so i prefer to keep it away inside this paper in order to make the desk look cleaner and a lot more beautiful i guess next up i have these pencil holder i don't know exactly the name but i'll call it a pencil container and here i keep my ruler and also a couple of different pens and pencils also some scissors and highlighters and my favorite art pencils which are these ones and that's basically it i just keep it on top of my table so i can grab it grab anything i need quickly i also have some decoration on top of my table which is this little basket that has very cute little fruits and vegetables and some other kind of foods that i bought the other day to just decorate the table over here, I also have my two pencil cases, one for the highlighters and one for the things I usually use on a day-to-day basis that I take to college. They stay here on the corner because, again, I can easily, easily access them. Next up is this cute little box that has a lot of words on it. And I usually keep my camera over there together with my GoPro, but today it's only my GoPro because I'm using my camera to film this. Anyway, I prefer to use this uh, method of organizing because it's easier to access the camera and it doesn't get exposed to the weather or the sun. Over here I have my glasses and also some sticky notes I use to annotate anything that I need to do or that I need to remember for that week or even for that day. And I also have my exam table, which shows all the exams I have and also the day of the month I am in. And over here is of course my Polaroid wall that I made last year. To work during the night, I use this black lamp and I also have my bullet journal and a couple of pens on top of the desk and also my laptop that I use pretty much every single day. My bullet journal is here because I use it very often so it's easier just to keep it on top of the desk so I can use it more quickly and also check it out whenever I want. And if you guys are interested in seeing how i made this bullet journal i have a video on it that i'll have linked down below and also here on top of the video moving on i also have these shelf units on top of my desk that i keep a lot of different things starting off in this corner i have my helmet and a couple of socks i also have a coin holder which I use to just put the coins I get daily and by the end of the year I'll check out how much money I have. I decided to leave my socks here because it's easier to grab them and also easier to put them whenever they are clean or grab them when they are dirty. In this hidden cabinet I have all of my books, fiction books that I use that I used to read a lot and they are organized following their sizes and I used the other unit to store my water bottles and also some 
random things in this little box over here that have to do with purses and some medicines and stuff like that that I don't want to show. In the unit right beside it is a unit I use for my art supplies and also some of some pictures of my family. These little white drawers hold my art supplies as well, some pastel pens and pencils and also some paints and also sticky notes that I use for my notes. I also have my set of markers from Stadler, a couple of different things that I use to decorate and also to clip paper together. On top of that, I keep all of my college papers and also another helmet I own. I will quickly show you how I organize my college papers, but if you guys want to watch more about that, I made a video on it as well and I'll have it linked down below. So basically, each folder holds a certain amount of subjects I already took in college and these subjects are separated in clear folders which are these ones over here and they hold all the papers I got from, from this specific subject and also all of my notes. I decided on this method of organization because I find it easier to grab any paper or any, note, any notes I need on a specific subject. And I always label the folders for each subject according to the semester I was in and also the subjects I had. On the Metal Grid magazine holder, I have a couple of other things from college and also for organization. I have some old notebooks I used for college and I also have some printed notes and handouts my teachers gave me and also extra clear folders for organizing the rest of the subjects I still have to take on college. And I have these little tags to label my folders. Moving on to the next covered unit, I have another unit for the books, for some books, but these are mostly childhood books that I don't feel like giving away or that are very important to me, so I keep them here. And I also keep the some games and some plant holders in the other unit. Moving on to my drawers, the first one holds what I use most often during the semester. So over here I have all of my textbooks that I'm using this semester and under them I also have some clear folders that are holding my notes and any handouts from the subjects I am taking this semester. I prefer to keep everything in this drawer because it's easier to grab. And over here I have all of my notebooks, including this new one that I bought just last month and I started using. And it also holds my other notebooks that I use for the classes I'm taking this semester. Over here I have some things I use daily, which is like my calculator, my wallet, and I separated everything into these little boxes because it's more organized and just keeps everything in its place. Over here I also have a little box for a very precious jewelry I have that I don't wear because I don't feel, I feel like I'm gonna lose it, but I keep it closed in the first drawer because I think it's so cute and I just really like it. In this corner over here I have my set square. I have two of them and they are very useful for doing my bullet journal and also any drawings I need. And I also keep my other smaller wallet and my driver's license. I also keep a portable USB charger for my phone, my document, a very cute pen drive, and a couple of other pen drives and SD cards. Over here I keep some money and also some random things. Over here in this little basket I keep all of my sticky notes 
and I usually use them to write tasks I need to do for the day or reminders for whatever I need to do for the week or just things I need to remember. I also have these little notebooks that hold another set of sticky notes that I got on co from college and I also have this one that I don't remember where it got from. I also have this set of stickers. I don't remember who gave me this but I really like it. I just haven't used it yet but I will. My second drawer holds a lot of different folders and I use it mostly for handouts and also for old things from college. So for example in these two folders that I really like because of the color, I keep some extra paper from my notebook for my notebook and also some certificates and also handouts from a specific class I had this semester. I also keep here my boyfriend's notebook and a drawing notebook I have. In this little golden box, I keep some very random things that used to be on top of my table, but I just decided to put everything over there. So for example, I have the covers for my set square and also some stickers and again, some very random things. I just keep it away over there. Over here, I also have my headphones, which I always keep in this little pouch because it's more protected and it's easier to carry that way. I also have a folder for my life documents and my college document documents, and I have this folder that I used to put all my college papers before, but because there were so many, it didn't fit in this folder, so I'm using this one for only a couple of semesters. Over here, I have my Kindle that I use quite frequently to read and I also have a couple of spare notebooks and some art supplies again. This third drawer is the last one I'm gonna show because the last one is for very random things and I don't see why I would show you that. I keep most of my art supplies in this drawer and I also keep the boxes from my art supplies like some paints I had because I don't want to throw the box away in case I need it so I just keep it in this drawer. Over here I have this little show box I used to, I used to put all my pens and also a couple of pencils and a variety of other things I don't have space for. Over here I have some drawing pads and also a couple of art supplies and on the bottom I have my drawing notebook. In this little box I have some tape and also the rest of the paints I had on the white drawers. These are acrylic paints that I had for a couple of years now and I like keeping these here because they are easier to grab. I also have some other types of paints, including this PVA uh, paint, which is for very different arts and crafts. And I also have this glitter glue, again, for arts and crafts. I also have this very beautiful letter set that I'm very sorry not to have used so much, but I really like it, so I... I kind of just keep them instead of using them. Anyway guys, this was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll try to answer them. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave your like and also share with your friends or anyone that might like it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.